Hello, Kirsk here and today I want to show you or teach you uh, how to start uh, doing any activities in open world. Today we're gonna roam open world for something like an hour uh, because I want to show you how you can uh, progress your character, how you can make silver in open world in black zone uh, and I will be doing this as a new player because it's fresh account uh, I think I'm a little bit experienced, so I think I can teach you some useful things. Uh, and just my main goal today uh, while doing something in open world in Black Zone is just to uh, progress my character as much as I can and to make as much money in open world as I can in one hour. And for this activity, I will be using this build. I was thinking for a while about what build will be the best and I think Battle Axe with uh, following items will be uh, the best option because, because of the sustain. Like, sustain in open world for me is uh, very important. That's why I'm using Battle Axe. Uh, the skills that I'm using, you can see here, the second Q, the second W, uh, the first passive, just some usual back if you have some uh, more silver you can use satchel of inside but i wouldn't recommend you doing that uh, just some healing potion mercenary jacket with the third spell uh, for the sustain demon boots because demon boots in my opinion are the best boots for open world if you're playing solo and especially if you're a new player uh, you don't feel uh, much confident in open world you always have some item that you can run away from your enemies uh, under the cape the same thing Mist color just for some extra cooldowns. Cooldowns, in my opinion, in open world uh, are very important too. Uh, omelets, uh, because omelets also give you cooldowns, so it's a great option. And some giant stack for the max load, because if we would get some loot, uh, we just can carry more loot uh, because of the passive, the max load uh, that is increased by 238 kilograms. Uh, but as you can see, my helmet is missing. And I will show you why my helmet is missing. Because when I play Albion, I'm looking for profit in every item. Like uh, if I'm doing some content, I'm always trying to make some extra profit from it. And it's the same thing with buying items from the market. Uh, I will be using Guardian Helmet uh, 4.2 and I want to use excellent quality and as you can see the Guardian Helmet 4.2 is, uh, is 23k uh, and even sells for that you can see in the last 12 hours uh, two helmets in this quality and in this tier were sold but I think 23k is too much for this item so I thought maybe I will craft it by myself. Uh, maybe not craft, but enchant. Uh, and now look, now the magic will begin. 4.0 excellent helmet is one and a half K. Let's buy it. Now let's buy some runes because to upgrade my helmet from 4.0 to 4.1, uh, I need 48 runes. The total cost is one K and to upgrade our helmet from 4.1 to 4.2, we need souls and we also need 48 souls. Let's just buy them. Uh, it's 10k. So as you can see, in total, we spent 12,000 silver to get, let me check, uh, 4.2 Guardian Helmet in excellent quality. So it's like 10k uh, profit or if you won't sell it, if you will use it, it's 10k silver saved. So it's always a great option. Now I'm just gonna upgrade it. You can do it in Artifact Foundry. Just go here, uh, click the third tab, Enchant, drop our helmet, 4.1, 4.2. Easy, that's just easy profit, easy 10k, and easy 10k saved. So now when we have our build, and we are ready to go for our uh, our open world black zone. 
I just want to do one more thing. Oh, you can see my IP. I don't have like any specs here. Uh, so we can see the IP. I want to do one more thing. I want to save uh, what my silver balance is and how much fame I got right now. So after one hour, I will know how much silver I made and how much uh, fame did I get. So right now my silver balance is 2 million silver, uh, 900,000 and 82,000 silver. And my fame, which I got right now, is 328,000 fame. Uh, as you can see, I don't have premium. So if you, if you will have premium, uh, comparing to me, you will get a little bit more fame. So now I'm starting my one hour session of conquering the black zone. Uh, at the beginning, I think I will just kill some roaming mobs in open world. As you can see, it was like the first minute and I found the first golden uh, mob. Uh, second minute, the second golden mob and this mob gave me 27k fame. Uh, anyway, during this one hour session I met a lot of golden evolved mobs. So I, ju I just killed all of them because it's... a uh, clear pleasure because they gave uh, they gave a lot of fame uh, here you can see that this mob probably will give me something like 27k fame even 28 so it's clear profit here you can see some dude in 8.1 excellent don't approach him there is no chance in it uh, also while doing some open world activities you can kill some mobs so maybe you will get some pups from them it's always some extra money and during this session, I decided that I will do one solo dungeon with this build that I chose for today. And it was great because I didn't uh, even have to uh, eat tier 7 fish for the health regeneration. My self-sustain was just enough uh, for me. You can see here the chests from solo dungeons. The total loot was something like 100k. So it wasn't bad because it was only like a uh, tier 6 dungeon. But here you can see that I spot, uh, I have spotted some guy in class. And I knew from the beginning that it is a gunker. So I tried to run away from him. But you can see here that on the road there was another gunker. Uh, at the end there was like probably 6 or 7 of them. Uh, I tried to run out uh, from them with my demon boots uh, but unfortunately there was too much of them and they just killed me. Uh, you can see here one, two, three, four, here and the five, six, there was like six of them so I died but nothing happened. Uh, I just uh, have bought another set and went back uh, to, to the black zone. Then I was back uh, to farming my roaming mobs. Uh, I unlocked a bonus for killing tier 7 uh, mobs. Uh, here you can see that you can kill some chests in open world, so they will give you some additional silver. Uh, and here you can see another situation of gunkers. Uh, I tried to get this chest, but I saw a guy with claws, so I knew right away that it's a gunker. So I just changed my direction. But here you will see that there's another guy on foot and it's Gunker uh, too for sure. So be careful in open world. So now summarizing, I was in open world black zone for something like an hour. Uh, as you can see, my IP went up a little bit. Now it's 961. So it's a little bit higher than before my journey. Uh, I wasn't able to do any chests uh, because there was a lot of gunkers uh, at this time when I was in open world. Also, unfortunately, I died. So when it comes to silver, if I wouldn't die and I wouldn't uh, lose all my loot that I had from my solo dungeon, I would probably uh, profit something like 200 or 300k, but I died, so I'm... I probably didn't make any profit. When it comes to fame, right now I have got 837,000 fame. 
So I gained half a million fame during my one hour session in Black Zone. Uh, so I was only using 4.2 gear. Uh, you can see the IP. I was doing this for only like one hour. And I was only doing it in tier five and in tier six zones. Uh, I was farming roaming mobs in tier five and tier six zones. So half a million fame or also it's without premium. With premium, you would get 50% uh, fame more. So one hour, half a million uh, fame. In my opinion, it's a very good result.